Clash is where two poets slam directly against each other over three themed rounds. The rounds are ideas, nightmares, and dreams. So each of these poets have prepared rounds that go directly towards those themes. And that being said, poet to my left, introduce yourself. Alex Alfaro, uh, actor, writer, director, uh, Los Angeles Productions. Uh, check me out on Twitter, Alfaro, Instagram, Alfaro. Make some noise for Alex. Let's go. Yeah. All right. And poet to my right. Introduce yourself. Uh, Daniel J. Hees, poet, podcaster from Los Angeles. Uh, check me out, thechubbyfat.com, Chubby Fat on iTunes, Daniel Hees everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, let's make some noise. <laughs> I-D-E-A. Not a narc parked outside of a building where a man stands hustling trying to make some money to feed his daughter. Part of a system designed to funnel funds that pay to the tunnel runs that El Chapo used to move drugs mm. and guns mm. to find freedom. Nah, I'm talking about ideas. An idea is my precursor notion, the precursor verb action, the nonverbal verb, my first word mm. of creation. It's subtle manifestation, yeah. metaphysical orchestration, pure channeled intellectual access through compressed evolutionary process. Ooh, it sparks shit. revolutionary progress or it creates devastating losses depending on the perspective and the being's intention respectively. Mm. Outbait non-exclusive to the human brain. Even these thoughts are primitive, derivative representation of an infinite celestial system. Mm. Ideas are independent of time space, connecting through the same distance in the instance and that the heart listens, it'll catch its free form wave. Related to intuition, self-conscious inhibition, when chain link, they create innovation. Correlated causation, when created through the third eye, is similar to spidey singly sensation. Hmm. Ideas are the universe experiencing itself through psionic expression. Ionic tension slowed down through concentrated until matter forms like you're paying attention. Ideas are the core of how characterization forms in advancing civilizations. Mm. Ideas are an offering of consciousness residing in the absolute. When recited honestly, ideas are seen as a form of truth, absolutely relevant through a form that's irreverent. When acted upon in its purest form, ideas are seen as irreverent. When MCs doing right, ideas are first outlets of conscious etiquette that is coupled with a couple of jewels for global benefit. Mm. An idea without substance is just a dream. Do you get it yet? Woo! There was always an idea bursting, sunset to fester and blister, full of pus and misuse, full of pieces of broken down progress and glass. Mm. Some ideas are like a ruling class <laughs> or drone warfare. The Holocaust had to be held up by one thought that was had on one day at one moment and given value. Mm. Yeah. Let us live in stout pursuit of learning to recognize some ideas are like blisters, born from the burn. Raised mm. scars hard on the heart, some ideas are not had, rather tragically earned. Mm. But some ideas, some ideas are bubbles full of baby's breath, bursting after the blister, but right before the brilliance. Somewhere there was an idea held up by love and circumstance, insurmountable chance and a fuckload of hard work that will change the world. Mm. Yeah. Some ideas are full of pus. <laughs> Some ideas are full of baby burps and laughter. Let's all learn to give value to the bursting, celebrate the ones filled with fucking glitter, and ignore the ones filled with pus. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Oh, 
My mom never severed her relationship to Dom. She was scared of him because he used to beat her. One evening it was storming. I came home from school to find yellow tape around the entrance to the pad. I handcuffed the dad. Mm -hmm. Confused eyes soaking wet from the rain. He wore a grin but looked sad. Mm -hmm. I caught the last bit of description that the prigs radio receiver. Pops made good on his promise when he discovered that she was going to leave him. She took a chop to the throat, meat cleaver. The same one she was using to make dinner for my little brothers, broiled beef ribs with sauce, mm. smothered their favorite. Mm. He claimed there was an accident, the argument got too heated. There was immediate regret, a life altering event. Found out she was fucking his best friend prior to the incident. Mm. Afterwards, I became a ward of the state. Never again saw my sister. Later I heard she was raped by her custodian, Lester LaFair. Mm. That same year she disappeared. The cops mm -hmm. dug out Lester's backyard and found her cadaver there. I couldn't protect her because I was placed off a home of the 110 in Manchester. My best friend was killed in combat after 9-11, took shrapnel from an IED to the head. He joined the corps to get off the crystal meth he was supposed to be dealing. Mm -hmm. I never practiced my craft, never got into lyrics. So now I chill in alleys, consuming and speaking the spirits. I got my girlfriend pregnant mm -hmm. at 19, but the baby was born dead. Today she'd be 13, mm -hmm. but she was born in my spitting image. One of my brothers became a chemist at the Oasis Motel, died in an explosion, took two babies and a junkie who was waiting for a sale. My other brother is a schizo who lives in a nursing home. Medicated, he talks to himself while he fidgets and roams. I never went to college, never graduated, never traveled, never roamed, so I never made it. Never met the love of my life, so my idea of love comes from fucking bitches in the ass going raw with no glove. Because that's the only way I know how to show a chick that I care while I let them hit me while I'm staring at them with an empty glare. Mm. But none of that shit actually happened because it was just a dream, a series of ideas that played out just to scare mm. the little boy inside of me that's trying to get away. But hey, it was just a nightmare. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Oh, yeah, time! Let's go! Woo! All right. It's two minutes on Daniel. Whenever you're ready. A list of seven reoccurring nightmares had by or because of Daniel J. Hees. One. I'm six years old, walking down my hallway. I go to open the restroom door, and instead of a toilet, I find the portal to hell, too. <laughs> the devil is on my top bunk. I am on the ground. He attempts to smush me with a giant snow shovel that fortunately for me has a big hole in its middle I am just able to barely jump through. Three, I wake up, and there are barnacles all over everything I own. Four. <laughs> I am unable to return home. As in, I went on a trip or vacation, and last minute, the world goes all Wes Craven, Michael Bay mashup movie on me. Five. <laughs> An extension of four. I am running away from a Hawaiian shore. Behind me, a giant tidal wave full of weapon-bearing killer whales is barreling down on me and society, and I have the key to the briefcase that has the answer, whatever the answer to warlord killer whales could be, and I have to get back to the haunted ghost-driven helicopter so I can get it home safely. Six, I'm sat in my grandpa's old living room. He is as I would wish him. He tells me there is no afterlife. Seven, I'm sat on a beach with a faceless woman and our child. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to hold either of their hands. Let's go. <laughs> My dreams are my reality. Mm. My reality are dreams manifested due to the ancestral investment. Mm. I'm a dreamer by category and often told of the possibilities before reality can sink in, but I never listen. I've always followed my intuition. Not dreams of winning the lottery with my last borrowed dollar. I dream of paying off my brother's loan so they can be leaders and scholars. Mm. Retire my mother so that she never has to know what it's like collecting social security as she becomes fragile and old. Mm -hmm. Watch my daughter graduate, top of her class, magma cum laude, have her talent exceed my own with her collective art and body of works that are a reflection of the love that has from her old man. Mm -hmm. I did everything that I could in order to follow that specific plan. Watch my old neighborhood be reconstructed like after the 92 riots, 
replace liquor stores with fresh food collectives where the incentive is no one has to pay in. Mm -hmm. Give six figures to teachers, give five to politicians and give scholarships to mothers so they can learn to survive without another man or another governmental hand. Yeah. This is the slogan of yes we can. I dream of not being pulled over by the officer swine asking me if this ID is mine because I don't look like the way that I'm supposed to when I'm driving by. Oh, you mean going back to my country being DTLA? What part of Mexico is that that you say? <laughs> Guatemalan, a fallen Mayan. I learned to speak Spanish because I can't remember my native language. I learned about getting a legit job so that my daughter doesn't have to be famished. I want to be able to drive back from San Diego through Oceanside on the 5 and not feel like my heart is about to explode from the inside due to anxiety. Mm, yeah. I look forward to the day where... I don't have to be searched and inspected, bullshitting and threatened, and then walked away, the pig is going me a wet bag as a final insult and low blow. <laughs> I want a decent line of credit and a chance to own a home. I want to be able to have shit in my name so I could have something to show yeah. for all of my parents' sacrifices for coming to this country, for I am their dream manifested into a solid reality. Last and final, make some noise for the last and final round. Yeah. All right. Daniel, three minutes, whenever you're ready. There's a 50 foot pin at my back. My leg is bound to a stack of papers so high I can't see the top. I fumble and fall off, and I don't know if the pen is pushing me or chasing me, and there is no road. And there was no plan, and I can only drag my leg along for so many years, and I can't afford new shoes, and I can't breathe on a Sunday afternoon. And they all have the day off. Days that I will ruin, but I can pay my bills, and I can write about it. And I'm tired, but I don't drink anymore, so I'm rarely sick. I fall and fight my way through the thicket. The brush here has thorns, and they stink. Dick, and I can't breathe on a Sunday again, but I've gotten so much done this week and so much to do next week. And somewhere there was a pillow with the sleeping woman who I will come home to, and I can get there early and set up equipment, get ready so it goes quickly. And I slept a little and I ate a little and I don't drink anymore, so I'm rarely sick and soon I can go home and write about it because I have to write about it. I can't feel it until I write about it and it's not done until I've shared it and I'm depending on sharing it with you. I'm tired, so get through and write about it. Keep it in pages, force it into stanzas, write things on napkins because you know you'll never see them again. Use only pencil, because paper can't catch up to you. My work is all worth throwing away, so it won't catch up to me. But they say things like he's a very talented young man. Truly a creative raw talent. Like, what does raw talent even mean? And why has it never fucking mattered before? <laughs> he's very genuine. And I'm sure these are things they've said about failures before, and I have bills to pay, and these are all things they've said about complete fucking failures before. Mm. Force these words into place like you've never needed them to fit more. My leg is bound to a stack of paper so high I can't see the top. There's a 50-foot pin at my back, and I don't know if I will ride it into the sunset or if it will run me over. Time, let's go. Yeah. All right, folks, big up to the poets right here. Make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going to deliberate with the judges, and then we'll be back with a decision. Hey, my name is Aubrey. Um, I'm one of the judges for today. I write sometimes. You can follow my Tumblr at Fragmented Poetry. Uh, so the first round was based off ideas, and we had two awesome poets, Daniel and Alex. Uh, I gave him an eight, though. So for me, at the end of the day, uh, I think Alex won just by like a little bit. All right, cool. Uh, so I'm Craig Tinsley. I'm one of the judges. Um, I make video games, so you can check out um, Rap Quest on Google Play right now. All right. So um, for the for the first round, it was ideas, A to point B, and kind of you know making it mirrored almost. So I thought that was um, cool. That was 8.0. So overall, I would give it to Alex. 
So that's mine. All right, what's up, y'all? My name is Eddie Ghana. Um, I represent Sunday Jump, an open mic series in Sora Filipino Town. Also, KB Pro People Youth, Progressive Youth Organization. And last but not least, Spoken Word Duo Steady. Uh, check us out at writesteady.com. So, for the battles uh, for this poetry slam, I found it really interesting. It was really close, different styles. So, the first one was ideas, and so overall it was very close and calculated all in, in total. Um, Alex edges out by sharing his story um, and putting it into rhyme form and poetry format. I give it to Alex. It was real close. It was to the winner by unanimous decision, Alex. Make some noise. Guys, so thank you very much. It's the Prime Poetry League. These are poetry clashes. Two poets against each other. You know what it is. We're doing it. Make some noise, everyone. Let's go.